They got one group who doesn't want to take the vaccine because it infringes on their freedoms and it's another measure of control and so forth and such like. They got another group who is like, it's just sheer common sense and if you don't take it, you are worse than Satan himself because you're just bringing my life down and you are evil and I, fine, I'm ready to slap everybody. One slap. I slap you, I slap you down. I slap you, I slap you down. I slap you, I slap you with violence. Growing up, there was one real truth. There would be a time where you'd have to take vaccines. Some news or something will show up in the school. They will give us advance notice. On this day, you come in, you walk with your immunization card, and you're going to get stuck. Uh, some of them were very nice, and they used to go up to your arm and be like, okay. And some of them, again, were just like, which I'm not a fan of. It's very weird for me. Like, I have given blood quite a few, well, a few times. But generally speaking, I'm not a, I'm not a big fan of needles, so I try to avoid them wherever possible. However, when it comes to this vaccination scene, I feel like we've all gotten just a little too hyper. It's a, it's a vaccine. It's meant to bolster your immune system. It's not inherently going to stop the thing. You might still contract it, but that doesn't mean to say that you shouldn't get it. But if you choose not to get it because of some reason outside of being an anti-vaxxer, I don't know if all this noise should be accompanied to you, if that makes any sense. Two new schools of thought have emerged out of this whole vaccination scene. On the one hand, you have the compromise uh, camp, the compromise camp. And on the other hand, you have the common sense camp. And in the middle are people who are just trying to figure out how they're going to do things. So in the compromise camp, you have those who think that taking this vaccine is an actual act of compromise, whether it is religious compromise or it is um, social compromise. I want to say social freedoms, but let's go with social. Oh, yeah, that too. Social freedoms, social compromise. So the compromise camp is like, I will not take this vaccine because I have a right to not do things and you can't force me to do things. Okay. The common sense camp is very much of the, listen, it's a vaccine. We don't know everything about everything because that's how science works. Science is not a, a finite thing. Science is not a one root says all kind of approach. So there are going to be times where you're going to get it wrong. But you know what? It's just make common sense to go and be vaccinated. You want to protect the people that you love. You want to protect your own self. That's fine. The problem with the common sense is, is that they give the information in such a way that it's like, it's common sense. You're an ass if you don't go and do this thing that we're all doing. For the record, because I know some jackass going to come inside my, my, my thing. For the record, I am fully on board the vaccination train. I want as many people to be vaccinated. But I also understand, outside of the people who are posting strange, misleading videos and have some dumbass comments, there are those group of people who are just genuinely trying to figure out what to do. I am going to my doctor, getting all the necessary information I need from my doctor, who has known me from since I was yay high, with all my complications from asthma and the recurring lung infections and the headaches and the fact that I have a, spine, a, 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 a spinal problem and a flexi rod in my back and all the other things that concern me, which are hilarious, he's the one who's going to look at me and say, yes, go do that because you know your immune system. 
that's what you should do. That makes sense. That is the way to approach it. Screaming about your compromising and screaming about the common sense, but being in this ridiculous authoritarian dudishness is not exactly going to help anybody. I want everybody in this country to feel free enough to take this vaccine. I want people to feel like this is a good thing. But these two new forces are just making it horrible for everyone else. They are. It disturbs me because I feel like there are other battles that are coming. You think COVID-19 is going to be a thing? Wait. There are other battles that are coming that we need to be prepared for, that we need to work together as a human race, as one human race. And we're not doing it. Instead, we're fighting each other down. And this is another problem. These two camps would not have come risen to the surface if when this thing started, the nations of the world, the world had actually come together and say, here's how we're going to deal with this in a calm, rational manner. Because from the minute COVID-19 started to become a real scene, the videos, the misinformation, the politicizing, you think the, the whole sunlight cures COVID is a scene? The random politicizing through different sources all over the world is annoying and deadly. I'm not talking about the anti-vaxxers because you, the anti-vaxxers on a whole are a group of people that I am not comfortable with. But I am saying if you choose to take or not take the vaccine, because we're trying to do herd immunity thing here so that at least a great portion of people can be fine. It's not about compromising your beliefs or not compromising your beliefs. Get that out of your way. This is my thinking. I could be wrong. And if you choose, like me, to go and do the vaccine, it should be your choice it should be because you understand the value of what it is and not to have a sense of moral superiority and find new and engaging ways to hate each other. The kind of vitriol that goes from both camps, it's horrifying, but it shouldn't have come to this where we have two camps thinking, I'm compromising my beliefs or you're so stupid for not taking the vaccine. I slap you. I slap you, I slap you down. I slap you, I slap you down. I slap you, I slap you with violence.